Hi, I want to talk about the commonality of poverty. The commonality of poverty. The commonality of poverty. Some of you may not um, understand what I'm saying right now, but pay attention, listen. Um, it's going to make a lot of difference in your life, in your thinking, and how you see the people that surround you. The commonality of poverty. Um, the reason why you have the people you have in your life right now the people that surround you, the, the friends you have in your life is because of the commonality of either success or failure or wealth or poverty. The reason why you have the friends in your life is because you have something in common. I want to talk about the commonality of poverty. The commonality of poverty. That is what ties many of you together with your friends. That is what ties it binds you together. The commonality of, of poverty. You, you, you share something in common and um, you hustle together. You struggle together and, and you have not made it. So there is a common bond be, between you and, and that's the commonality of poverty. That is why you have those people in your life. It's not because they like you. It's not because they respect you. You, you. you share something in common. The commonality of poverty. Poverty binds you together. The reason why you're friends right now is because you all probably don't have much. You don't have much. You don't have much. You don't have much. The reason why those people around you accept you as friends right now is because you have nothing. It's because you have nothing. You're not richer than them. You're not more successful than them. You're not better than them. You're not making more progress than them. That is why they accept you as a friend. You, you, you have the commonality of poverty, the commonality of struggling, the commonality of hustling, the commonality of mediocrity. You have not risen in life. You're still working on yourself. That is why you have those people who surround you now and call themselves friends because of the commonality of, of, of poverty. Listen to me. Pay attention. It is a commonality that binds it, of, of poverty that binds you together. That is what you all have in common. You all are struggling. You all are hustling. You all trying to make your way in life. You're, you're knocking on doors and, and you're trying new things and new ideas and you're, and, 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 and you're trying to make new contacts. It is the commonality of that struggle, the commonality of poverty that binds you together. The commonality of poverty. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Pay attention. The moment, the moment you start making different moves. The moment your I, you begin to, to, to act on your ideas, the moment you start making different moves from your friends, the moment you start deviating from, the, from their path, the moment doors begin to open for you, the moment you have a dream and an idea that lifts you out of that commonality of poverty, that lifts you out of that hole, that lifts you out of that group, bound together by poverty and lack and struggle, the moment you start rising out of that group, you become, you become a threat to them. You become a threat to them. You're not a threat now. They don't really care about you right now. You're nothing right now. You're nobody right now. But the moment you start rising by the power of your dream and, and by the power of action and, and by, by, by the force of your positive habit, and the moment you start pursuing your dream and, and you, you, keep, you start pursuing your goal and you start rising out of, that, out of that group and breaking out of the commonality of poverty that binds you and holds you together to those people, you become a threat to them. You become a threat to them. Do you know why? When you break out of the commonality of poverty, they can no longer control you. You can no longer be at their mercy. They can no longer manipulate you because your poverty, your lack, 
your struggle keeps you at their mercy. The moment you have a dream, a big dream, and you start rising, out of that pit and hole of struggle and, and mediocrity and, and, and poverty and bondage, you start rising out. You become a threat to them. You become a threat to them. Why? Because they can no longer control you. They can no longer manipulate you. You're no longer beneath them. You no longer beg them or ask them for help or for support. You no longer, you, you no longer need them in your life. The moment you, you begin to tell them that you no longer need them in your life, they will, they will turn against you and start attacking you. Why? Because they don't want you to break out of that commonality of poverty that holds you all together the commonality of poverty. That is why you're friends with them. Because you all are all on the same financial level. That's why you're friends with them. But the moment you have an idea and a big dream that you want to break out of that group and that level of life, you want to break out of that neighborhood and say, no, I'm beyond this, I'm above this. Immediately, they see you as a threat. That you want to leave them behind in poverty. You want to leave them behind in mediocrity? You want to leave them behind in failure? They will find a way to stop you. They will find a way to sow doubt into your mind. They will find a way to sabotage you. But do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? You cannot sabotage what you don't know. You cannot ruin a dream that you know nothing about. That is why you have to move in silence. Move in silence because to break out of the commonality of poverty that binds you to all those, your friends, you have to move in silence. If you don't move in silence, they will sabotage you. They will begin to sow doubt into your mind and tell you that your dream is impossible. That you're not smart enough, you're not brilliant enough, you're not qualified enough, you're not educated enough, you're not pretty enough to, 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 to achieve your dream. They will sow doubt into your mind and try to keep you bound to the commonality of poverty. The commonality of poverty. which binds you all together. That is why you have to move in silence and keep your mouth shut. The moment that dream, that, that dream begins to rise up in your heart and, and you have an opportunity, keep your mouth shut and start moving in silence. Move in silence. Move in silence. Move in silence. Don't tell them nothing. Don't tell them. Why? Because they don't want to be left behind. They don't want to be left behind. They don't want to be left behind. It's just human nature. They don't want to be left behind. They don't want to see you make progress, become better than them because more successful than them, become richer than them. No, the commonality of poverty will refuse to let you rise, refuse to let you go, refuse to let you become better. The commonality of poverty will hold you down to that group and that level of life to break out of the commonality of poverty that binds you together to, to all your friends. You have to move in silence, move in silence, move in silence. Of course, they will tell you that they don't hate you. They will tell you they love you, but they will never let you go. They will never let you rise. They will never let you become better. They will never let you become more, more successful than them, richer than them. The commonality of poverty will hold you down to that level. They will never let you rise. The commonality of poverty. The commonality of poverty is a bond. It's like a cult. Like a cult. And say What? You're planning to leave us? What you're, you're, You want to go to Harvard? You got a scholarship to go to Harvard? You? Are you telling us that you're better than us? Are you telling us that you're smarter than us? What, what, what exactly are you saying? You, you got a scholarship and you're going to Harvard. You're going to leave us behind here. The commonality of poverty will never let you go. They will begin to sow doubt into your mind. Begin to sow doubt into your mind the moment you tell them, hey, I met, I, I met a stranger and I discussed my ideas with them and, and they were so excited about my ideas and, 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 and they want to invest. They say, what invest in what? You're, are, you, are you saying, I, don't you know that, that, that your product is useless? Don't you know that service is useless? The moment you tell them your idea, they will begin to sow doubt into your mind and make you feel small, feel weak, feel ineffective, feel useless, feel stupid. They'll begin to sow doubt into your mind. The commonality of poverty will find a way to sabotage you and sabotage your dream and sabotage your ideas. The commonality of poverty will hold you down in bondage to that group. They say they, 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 say they like it, but it's a lie. 
If they like you so much, why, why are they always discouraging you? Why are, they, why are they always telling you that your ideas are not good enough? That your products are not good enough? That your services are not good enough? That you are not smart enough? It's the commonality of poverty that holds you down. To break out of the commonality of poverty, you have to learn to move in silence. Keep your plans private. Keep your plans private. Keep your plans private. It doesn't mean because you guys have been together for five years or ten years, that means they love you. They don't love you. The only reason why they tolerate you is because of the commonality of poverty. You're not better than them. You're not better than them. The moment you try to be better than them, they will hold you down. Never to rise. Never to rise. Never to rise. The commonality of poverty will hold you down in chains. They call themselves friends, but no, they will hold you down. They will hold you back. The commonality, the commonality of poverty will hold you from rising, from pursuing your dream, from pursuing your goals. Yeah, they, they like you the way you are. They like you just the way you are. Just the way you are. They like you just the way you are. They don't want you to be better than them. They don't, they don't want you to make more progress than them. They don't want you to be more successful than them. They don't want you to be richer than them. They don't want you to be higher than them. They want you to remain where you are so that you can be controlled, be manipulated. And you can keep asking them for help and support the commonality of poverty. The commonality of poverty. The moment you tell them that you have a dream, a big dream. The moment you tell them that you have an idea to change the world, the moment you tell them that there is something inside of you that refuses to be res restricted and contained by your environment, the moment you tell them that you want to break out of this environment and you want to go to a better environment, the commonality of poverty will hold you down and they will tell you no, that you can't make it outside. You can't make it. Do you, do, do you have the qualifications? Do you have the education? Do you have the intelligence? Are you brilliant enough? Do you have the connections? The commonality of poverty will hold you down. That is the reason why you have to learn to move in silence. Move in silence. Move in silence. Move in silence. Don't tell them you have you you don't tell them you have investors for your business. Don't tell them you had that you have an opportunity. Don't tell them that doors of favor have opened to you. Don't tell them that you have a scholarship to a university abroad. Don't tell them your plans. Don't tell them your plans. Keep your plans private. Keep your plans private because the commonality of poverty will attack you. The commonality of, of, of poverty will hold you down and keep you from rising. The commonality of poverty will begin to spread news and rumors about you to tarnish your image, to, 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 damage, to damage your good name. To damage your good name, the commonality of poverty that holds them, holds you together. That's the only thing that binds you together with them. You were not born together. You were not born together on the same day. No, you don't come from the same family. You're just friends. You're just friends. If you're just, you're just friends. The commonality of poverty. It will hold you back. It will hold you back from becoming the best that you're capable of becoming. That is why you have to learn to move in silence. Move in silence. Move in silence. Keep your plans private. Keep your plans private. You call them friends. You think you think you think they love you. The only reason why you're tolerated is because you have nothing. That's the only reason you're tolerated. You have nothing. That is the only reason you're to tolerated. That's the only reason why they tolerate you. You have nothing. You have nothing. You're nobody. That's why they tolerate you. The moment you start acting on your dream, pursuing your dream, you will begin to rise. You begin to rise and you begin to threaten them because your success is a threat to them. Your progress is a threat to them. Your advancement is a threat to them. The favor on your life is a threat to them. They are not threatened by poverty. They are threatened by your adv advancement. They are threatened by your success. They are threatened by your promotion. They are threatened by your productivity. They are threatened when you begin to become better than them, that is why they are threatened. They are not threatened by you right now. Oh, the way you are. They, they want you to be the way you are forever. Forever. No, none of those people you call your friends want you to be better than them. They want you to stay the same way you are forever. Forever. You think they love you? You really think they love you? Oh, 
They want you to stay the same way. It's the commonality. It's the commonality of poverty, the crap mentality, and they will keep you in that box and refuse to let you rise. Refuse to let you rise. The moment you make the mistake of sharing your plans with them, the moment you make a mistake of sharing your dream with them, the moment you make a mistake of sharing that breakthrough with them, the moment you make a mistake of sharing that miracle with them, the commonality of poverty will, will, will try to stop you, to sabotage you, to hinder you, and to ruin your opportunity and your dream. The commonality of poverty is what binds you together with those people. The commonality of poverty. The commonality of mediocrity. The commonality of struggle. Everyday hustle. Commonality of hustle. Commonality of a nine to five job. Of, of, of working for people who you can employ if you had deployed your own dream and your idea. The commonality of poverty is what binds you together to your, with your friends. The commonality of mediocrity. The commonality of hustle. The commonality. The commonality of the hustle of struggling. The commonality of having nothing. That is why they're your friends. That's why they tolerate you. You think they like you? They tolerate you because you have nothing. That is why they talk. That's why you're tolerated because you have nothing. The moment you start lifting up your head, the moment you start pursuing your dream, the moment you start advancing in life, they will turn against you and try to hinder and stop and sabotage and ruin your advancement in life. Why? Because the commonality of poverty will never let you go. They will never let you expose their failure, never let you expose their poverty, will never let you expose the mediocrity in their lives. You know, your success exposes their failure. Your, your advancement exposes their mediocrity. Your success, your success is a threat to them because it will expose who they are, expose them, expose their lives, expose that they have been doing nothing with their lives, just expose them. And human nature hates to be exposed like that. So they will fight you. They will fight you. Instead of improving themselves, they will fight you from advancing in life. Instead of improving their own lives, no. They will try to stop and sabotage your own dream and your own advancement. Human nature is just crazy. Human nature is crazy. Instead of, of, of improving themselves, no. They will find a way to sabotage and stop you. That is why you have to move in silence. Move in silence. Keep your plans private. No, they don't love you. No, don't, don't. Some of you, some of you are so careless, so reckless. You just, what you, you just wake up. Hey, so, so somebody has invested five hundred, five hundred thousand dollars in my business. Don't tell them. Don't, don't tell them. Keep your mouth shut. Don't tell them. Keep your plans private. Don't tell them. The commonality of poverty is what binds you together with them. It's not because they love you. It's not because they care about you. It's not because you're important in them or to their lives. What value are you giving to them? What value? You have no value to you have no value to them. You have no value. You have no value. But the moment you start adding value to your mind, the moment you start acquiring new skill sets value creating skill sets the moment you start improving your people's skills and start connecting with people the moment you start stepping into new doors the moment you start making advancement you become a threat to them because success is a threat to the commonality of poverty success is a threat to them your advancement is a threat to them your progress is a threat to them your prosperity is a threat to them Instead of you to, for them to be happy for you and, and happy that you're making great strides in your life and you're becoming better instead of them to be happy. No, no. Envy will rise out of their heart and they will find a way to sabotage and stop you. Some of them will say, oh, don't pursue that business. It's a useless business. You will fail. And they will say all kinds of nonsense just to stop and hinder you and doubt is, a, is is poison i said that in my latest book life life on your own terms doubt is poison doubt is poison doubt is poison and and the reason why many of you have no reason is because your friends 
who are bound together with you through the commonality of poverty have sown doubt into your mind and they've poisoned you and they've told you that you're not good enough and they've told you you're not brilliant enough and they've told you you're not smart enough and they told you you're not educated enough and they told you you're not skilled enough and they told you that you're not ready to pursue that dream and the commonality of poverty has sabotaged you. You have to break away from that commonality of poverty. You don't have friends. What you have is a commonality of poverty that binds you together. You don't have friends. It's the commonality of mediocrity and the commonality of lack and the commonality of the struggle and the commonality of daily hustle that binds you together. Wouldn't you rather have the commonality of success bind you together to some other people? The commonality of, 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 of advancement? The commonality of success? The commonality of greatness. Because the people who are going nowhere with their lives will want to hold you down to nothingness. The people who are doing nothing with their lives will want to keep you down to their level. The people who are not advancing with their lives will want to hold you down. Let me tell you something. It is not in your place to try and rescue your friends. That's not your place. Your place is for you to pursue your dream. Your place, your place... Your purpose is for you to pursue your dream. Stop trying to rescue people when you have not rescued yourself. Stop trying to make people rich when you have not become rich yourself. Stop trying to make people successful when you're not successful yourself. The commonality of, of poverty will sabotage you. You're trying to help people when you've not helped yourself. You're trying to enrich people when you've not enriched yourself. You're trying to make people successful when you've not made yourself successful. Your, 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 let me tell you, your responsibility and your, and your utmost duty is for you to pursue your dream. Pursue your dream and your life's agenda. Move in silence. Move in silence. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I made some posts and, and some people are saying, oh, my friends, I would like to help my friends, make them more successful. Let me tell you something. So, so, so it is easier for them to sabotage you than for you to help them. How many of them are you going to help? Do you realize you're the only one? Let me say you have 10 friends. I'm sure you have more. You have 10 friends and you're trying to convince those 10 friends to become better. Let me tell you, nine people are stronger than one. You did mathematics in school, right? You're just one. And, and your friends with, 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 the, with the negative, negative, negative mentality, they are nine in number. They will subdue you and they will persuade you not to do what you want to do. That is why you have to walk away from them. The moment you start rising, the moment you start increasing, improve yourself. Improve yourself. Become better. Become stronger. Become more successful. Try, stop trying to persuade them to change their ways. Stop it. You cannot. You don't have the ability. They will, they, let me tell you, they will sabotage and ruin you. Don't, in your mind, you're thinking, oh, I, I, I love my friends and I want to help them. You can't help them. You're just one person. You're just one and they are nine. They will, they will sabotage you. They will, sab they will sabotage and ruin you. They will, they will paralyze your efforts. And one day you'll find out that you're no longer striving after, after your goals and your dream and, and, and your purpose and, your, and, and the things that you, that you desire in your heart. The commonality of poverty is your enemy. The commonality of poverty is, is an enemy. The commonality. The commonality of poverty is an enemy. You have to learn to walk away from that group. Learn to walk away from that group. Learn to walk away from those friends. Do not allow the commonality of poverty to hold you back or the commonality of mediocrity or the commonality of just struggle and the commonality of hustle. Rise above it. Let your dream move you higher. Let your dream move you higher. You'll be fine. Just move in silence. Move in silence and keep your plans private. Keep your plans close to your chest. Keep your plans private. After that, the execution and the results. Let your results speak for you. Stop telling them. Let them see the results. And by the time they see the results, it is too late to stop you. That somebody asked me that why do I keep saying move in silence? The reason why you move in silence is that by the time you finish your execution of your dream, it is too late for them to sabotage, to hinder or stop you. They can't do anything about it anymore. 
They can't do anything about it anymore. Your business is flourishing. Your career is flourishing. You have traveled to another continent. You have traveled. You have left that. You have left that that, that neighborhood. You've gone to a better neighborhood. They can't. They can't discourage you. They can't sow doubt in your mind. That is why you move in silence. Don't tell them what you want to do. Don't tell them your plans. Don't put your plans in the hands of your enemy. Don't tell them what you want to do. Don't tell them. Because the commonality of poverty will never let you go. You have to break out of it. You have to reject, resist, refuse. And break out of the commonality of poverty because those friends will never let you go. They will never let you go. They will never let you go. It's not because of love. It's just because of the commonality. That common bond. What, what binds you together? What binds you together? It's not love. It's not because they love you. It's the commonality of poverty that binds you together. That binds you together and you think it's love. No, it's not love. The moment you start rising, they will begin to show their true color. They will begin to show who they are. They say, what? This, 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 this man, this woman wants to relocate, wants to go to another country, wants to move to another continent, wants, wants, to, wants to move out of this neighborhood. And they will begin to react. The only reason why they tolerate you right now, my friend, is the commonality of poverty. You have to understand that. It's not because they love you. It's not because they love you. The moment you start making money, they will expose themselves. They will expose themselves because you're becoming better than them, more successful than them, and richer than them, and, and you're, making, you're making greater advancement and progress in life. And the commonality of poverty will attack you and fight against you to stop you because they don't want you to be better than them. They don't want you. They don't want you to be better than them. You think they want you to be better than them? No, nah. it's because of the commonality of poverty. The commonality of poverty that binds you together. You have to break out of that bond. Break out of it. 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 Out of it. Refuse to be bound, to be held down by the commonality of poverty. Refuse. Reject it. Reject it. Reject it. Say no. Learn to keep your plans private. Learn to keep your mouth shut. Learn to move in silence. Learn to create, grow, move in silence and let your results do all the advertising for you. Let your results speak for you and by the time they see your results, it is too late to stop you. And nobody can stop you when you don't tell them your plans. Nobody can stop you when you don't reveal your secrets. Nobody can stop you. As long as you move in silence. Move in silence. Move in silence. Move in silence, move in silence, move in silence. There's greatness inside of you. There is greatness inside of you. Move in silence. Stop sharing your plans and your dreams and putting your plans and, and giving ammunition to your enemies to sabotage you. Move in silence, move in silence. Only share your plans with people who, have, who are investing in you, people who believe in you, people who support you. Those are the people that qualify to share in your dreams and your plans. People who invest in you. They believe in you totally and they invest in you. They believe in you and they love you. And the, let me tell you, the mark of love is that they support you. They support you. They support your dream and your goals. They support you. Those are the people that you share your dreams with. Then move in silence. Just move in silence. It is none of their business. It is none of the business. Your life is none of the business. Your goal, your goals are none of the business. Your plans are none of the business. Just move in silence. Create, grow, move in silence. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine.